Not again. Get over here! Hey everybody, Nico the Legend here, also known as the well-mannered teenager, the snowflake, rambling idiot, and vigil. And it's been a little bit since we've done a Diablo 4 video because, well... I don't know, there hasn't been anything too spicy as of late, but wait, we just saw that intro and now there is, because the Diablo fans are in an uproar! What else is new on the internet world today, especially for gaming? So, uh, well, I just wanna, just wanna let you guys know that the, what we read about here isn't the only thing that's going on with Diablo 4. Uh, for one, we got the, uh, the Endgame closed beta coming out soon. That's only for the top tier Diablo players throughout the, you know, most recent years. And then we've had the biggest leak of Diablo history along with the GTA 6 leak. So that was a big ass leak as well. Uh, that guy was arrested apparently. I think, by the FBI, or was investigated by the FBI, FBI, and then he got arrested. Anyway, just correct me if I'm wrong down below. But a Diablo leak, over 40 minutes of video, mm, I don't want to see that. It's not even like an early build or something like that. Not even the textures are all spawned there. It's just a waste. Why would you do that? And besides, I already tried doing leak stuff on the channel, and I got one strike on it. Thanks. Thanks, YouTube. It didn't really even show anything, honestly. Anyway, so we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Diablo 4. Daily events spark live service concerns for the Blizzard RPG. Now, that's one thing we've always been worried about with D4, because it really is a flip of a coin with Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, and Diablo at this point. Diablo 4, in my opinion, folks, is the last bastion of hope that... that I just I want to leave Activision out for a second, even though they're a big part of this. Blizzard, Blizzard true core values as a whole in itself this is their last hope to keep diablo fans to keep blizzard fans going or bring uh, keep blizzard fans from not running away because a lot of us have run away because uh, blizzard has been complete shite for the past five years and we've all have a, we all know one blizzard story that made us cringe really hard um if you don't you do you have self do you guys not have cell phones come on ah that was one okay anyway so this is it, this is it. And I, I, I told people, it only takes one, one thing to really make people hate Diablo 4 and ruins everybody's ex expectations. And we're gonna see that as the days go by, closer and closer. So this might be the uh, unfortunate breadcrumb trail that we didn't wanna stumble upon and let's read about it on why, okay? I got through the introduction, like, comment, subscribe to the vi video. Okay, let's do it. The appearance of Diablo 4 daily events in the latest Blizzard update for its upcoming fantasy RPG game has fans worried about the game's life service nature. Because it is going to be life service. A Diablo 4 closed beta announced for November says it will focus on the end game experience as Blizzard, you know, developer Blizzard aims to own it, the next title to go toe to toe with the best RPG games on PC. Yeah, Path of Exile right now and then path of exile 2 is really gonna make it run for its money however fans are taking exception to a certain event type saying they fear the introduction of daily quests and more timed live service elements that make the game feel too much like a chore despite the long tail of past entries as proven by successful recent launch of diablo 3 season 27. season 27 that's a lot of seasons they don't stop it's yeah, diablo 3 is 10 years old now. 10 years ago, I was sadly disappointed. In a post titled, Please Keep Dailies the Hell Away from Diablo 4, user Alma Guess lays out their concerns, many of which have seen been echoed by other members of the subreddit responding in the comments. In particular, they are taking ex exception to an event described in the D4 Endgame beta preview post called Whispers of the Dead. Ooh, like Gengar. Do you think he's dead or actually alive? Okay, Blizzard says that players can earn grim favors. Oh no, oh no, by, I'm already going oh no, by completing tasks associated with these whispers. And adds that the types of whispers a player sees on their map rotate frequently, with new ones becoming available throughout the day for you to track. And that's, the, okay, I can already understand why people would be in an uproar about that, because this game, Diablo 3's problem is it was just a congested mess of so many different currencies and so many things to worry about. It wasn't just a straight go from one NPC to another, dungeon to another, boss to another, 
dead corpse to another it's not like that anymore it has to have this this updated service this everyday thing where someone's funneling in code or money or whatever the fuck you want to talk about it has to have it unfortunately that's just the day and age we live we can't live without this stuff apparently uh, players express their concerns that this sounds like it could introduce a daily aspect to the end game grind an end game well i leave that up to you on what you think the end game for diablo 4 should be do you even think it should have end game what if the game's just fun and you just re make multiple characters and... I oh, forget it. Uh, where you might be encouraged to log in every day to make sure that you don't miss out on getting th enough grim favors. That just sounds like an awful name anyway. To turn in at the Tree of Whispers. I, I feel like we're it's, it's like a Final Fantasy thing. Like, that term. Not like, you know. For a bevy of loot and experience, Alma Guest says that they find the idea of logging in every day out of a sense of obligation sounds tedious and lame like a chore like work, right? Yes! Let's make it like Destiny 2, because we all saw how that worked out for them in the end. Destiny 1, Destiny 2... Destiny... Bungie's just holding on to dear life that their game doesn't explode yet. Great art design, though. Another user, Jacorb, adds that their main issue with daily content is that it feels like the moment you complete that content, then everything beyond that daily content is comparatively less valuable. Exactly. Meaning they feel compelled to, to play less each day and just wait for their additional rewards the next day. <sighs> Dailies. It's like an MMO, and Diablo 4, I guess, is considered an MMO. But I think Diablo 4 could get away from this type of design. Anyway, they say that one of the things I, I feel like D3 really gets right is that you can play as much as you want or as little as you want, and you truly get out what you put into it. That's how it's been si since Diablo 1's debut, since its birth from D1, D2, and then, I hate to say a D3. You go in, you play an hour, you find some sweet loot, you do a dungeon with your homies, or whatever. None of this obligated crap where you gotta have like a line of quests and things to collect. Destiny 2, once again, have you seen the list of collectibles and, and, and currency you get in that game? D3 had a lot of currency too, it was awful. Or ingredients, it, it's, no. This sentiment is echoed by several other commentators, many of whom say they feel the problem has become an issue across the game industry. Only for D4, asked Bionic Buttermilk. <sighs> okay. I uh, pause for that awful name. I wish all dailies would be removed from all video games. I'm sick of them. However, some people in the thread note that there is no indication from the events description that any of the content will be time limited or missable, merely that it rotates on a regular basis over the course of a given, given day. Yeah, benefit of the doubt, I, I get it, but Blizzard's track record, it's such an opposing force. It's like someone just fucking used Exodia on me and I can't do anything but just take it. Until we have had more information on the D4 release date, we'll just have to wait for additional news from Blizzard as it comes. Be sure that we'll keep you informed. Anyway, so, uh, well, let's just, you know, uh, such as details on D4's microtransactions and all the D4 classes you can play when the game releases. In the meantime, D2 Resurrected Season 2 is adding new Sunder Charms and Terror Zones to the classic game. Now, that sounds cool. Sunder Charms and Terror Zones. That actually sounds like something you would hear in a Diablo game. It doesn't sound like it's out to waste your time or ob obligate you to just just scratch and sniff the entire time you, gotta, you just gotta do it you gotta get that high instead of uh what, what is it grim favors tree of whispers like straight out of final fantasy or something or world of warcraft for crying out loud but i digress folks that's all we have on this for you know daily events information of d4 now, how do you feel about this? Do you think D4 should have such a thing? Now, granted, this is going to be the first open world live service MMO online, whatever, right? With a bunch of players on, on, on a big map. First time in Diablo history. Uh, Activision Blizzard is coming just horribly off the money-grubbing trail of Diablo Immortal. And you can't tell me that that poison isn't going to leak into Diablo 4 with its live service stuff. You know, it's it's like, I like I'm worried that if you don't do this stuff, like to get the grim favors, get the currency, whatever, right? It's just another layer of like stuff you can get in the game to get special loot. You know, I'm really hoping that they just 
they down to the core they just have enough great legendaries or great drops whatever you however you describe your loot rng percentage drop whatever right everyone's got their own that they enjoy but it's just i don't want to just be only relying on these dailies they're avoidable i hope i hope they're avoidable not hidden behind a pain wall like nothing nothing close to diablo immortal i just wanted to where we can just go in and just play 30 minutes an hour two hours all day and just come out satisfied and not feeling burnt out or feeling like we just grinded way too hard i mean people would rather do bail runs to maybe get some really great gloves 100 bail runs to maybe get great gloves to deal with this i bet you the hardcores would agree with me on that was that a fair comparison i don't know you guys have to let me know down below uh, but i'm just saying that is this necessary? This question I pose to you, viewers, whoever you, wherever you come from, is this necessary to have? Is this a necessary evil to have? Does this give you f false hope that, does this give you, like, uh, not false hope, does this, this give you a, a big worrisome that Diablo 4 won't have enough things for you to do in the end game? I guess this is where it's only gonna happen. Maybe not, maybe they'll change it, maybe it'll just be all around. What do you guys think? And everything else you think about Diablo 4, let me know down in the comments below. We have discussed Diablo 4 daily events, spark live service concerns for the Blizzard RPG. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a breadcrumb trail of disaster leading up to the launch. These guys can't hide the BS from us anymore. At least they think they can, but it's not hard to, to figure out the, uh, the smoke and mirror, the bait and switch with these companies such as Activision Blizzard. We know the record. It wasn't like CD Projekt Red, where we rely to, to our faces because they've come off the great success of Witcher 3. We didn't think they would sink so low to, to come out with something like Cyberpunk 2077. It's a little different this time around with Activision Blizzard. We just know they suck right from the get-go, so at least we have that. At least we know to hide our children and our piggy banks. Somewhere. Somewhere deep away from the... Uh, I don't know. Just any, anyway, stay away from the great favors. Awful name. Anyway, folks, I've been your host, Nico the Legend, also known as the well-mannered teenager, the snowflake rambling idiot, and Vigil. I hope you did enjoy, and expect more content from TL before from you know, days to come. Thank you, Pathfinders, and take care. I just want to die.